Hi everyone, guess what I got at the online auction this weekend. Stay tuned and find out. So I spent a total of $244 and here's all my lots. We'll start off over here. I got these army tanks, which a lot of them are in need of repair. There's six flats of them and I don't know anything about them, but I spent $30 on all six lots, so I think that's a pretty good deal. I should be able to get my money back with no problem. I did buy a couple jewelry lots, and this one has some ivory in it, which is just absolutely gorgeous. And this necklace has this elephant that's carved. I'm not going to be able to sell it. I guess I'll hang it in my office as one of my presents to myself. There's all kinds of pretty jewelry in here. And, and I also got this elephant and this little jewelry velvet box, which I will sell. And I paid $44 for this lot. I don't think I'll have a problem getting my money back out of it. I probably could sell two or three pieces and it will be paid for. Then, over here, we have these absolutely awesome Halloween masks. I paid $36 for, I think there's 10 of them. There's Porky Pig and a clown. Some of these clear faces. Raggedy Ann needs to be cleaned up. I remember this from the 70s when I was little. And here is... A man that's clear. They, they do have a lot of cracks in them. There's a little girl and a witch and a full head mask. And the pumpkin came with it and it, they all smell real vintagey. They have a very distinct musty smell to them. Then I paid for this lot. I paid $14 for this box of this pig and these Fisher Price toys and this little uh, schoolboy patrol badge which is metal and suspenders and a drum and then this stuff over here which is old bubble bath containers and I've sold some of this couple of these poodles before and I think I sold it for about 20 so I don't think I'll have a problem getting my money back for $14 for all of them oh there's another mask open oh, here's a couple more masks pretty cool masks then I paid for this this is a Georgish I can't pronounce this I'm sorry Georgis Briard serving tray was stand $16 these sell for around 50 45 50 this does have a little bit of paint chips out of it I'm hoping I can get 45 for it but I I seen just the tray sell for 45 so this should sell for 50 with no problem maybe I can even get a little bit more and this is another lot which came with the reason I got this lot was because it had this Wedgwood pl platter in it and I paid $16 for it. It's got these strawberries on it. Really nice. I hate when they put the sticker right on top of the design. Some wild strawberry Wedgwood. And it doesn't seem to have any chips that I see. And it came with these pheasants. And this girl in this carnival glass wine cup. That was all $16. This Wedgwood platter sells for around $45. Um, I, I'm going to have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure that's about how much it sold for. That's why I paid up, upwards. And I figured if I get $45 for this, I'd still get maybe, even if I only get $10 for the pheasants, and $10 for the, the girl, and maybe $10 for the cup, I'm well ahead. Sorry for the noise. Then I got these cute little Eden lamp. 
This has a red light bulb in it, which I might change out to a white one, but it's very dim. But it's an old lamp that when you turn the light on, the, the colors come through. It came with this ice cream maker, which I may just donate. It's not in the best of shape. This is definitely something you should look up before you just get rid of it because the wooden ones sell for $25 to $50. Various ones sell for $25 to $50. This is a hand crank. The electric ones sell for more, but these still are sought after, so don't rule them out. This cute little schnauzer, I guess that's what he is, little pup, planter. I paid $12 for this little pup, the ice cream maker, the lamp, and that piece of cypress, cypress wood back there. I don't really know what it is. It's kind of a sculpture. But I will have no problem just selling the dog and the lamp, and we'll have plenty left over. Then the last lot I got was this jewelry, and I paid $34 for all of this. And the reason it's all out on this towel is because when my husband opened my car door, it fell out into the snow and into the ice and slush. They were a mess. So I ran them all through water and cleaned them all up, and now they're drying off. It came with this Eden watch, or Elgin watch, sorry. But it doesn't have a back on it. Again, I'm not big on watches, so I'll probably put... All these, these are like 1980s. They're almost like enamel earrings. I'll put them all together in a lot and see if I can sell them together. There's some really cool ones like these little turquoise beads, earrings. This is all earrings. And what else? These are some pretty ones, but it's missing a rhinestone on one. Some vintage earrings. And then this one has a name on the back. It says, God Bless America, but it has a, a name. Cam, Camco, which I've never heard of before. And these are also some interesting ones, which the sticker from the auctioneer was stuck on this earring. These are earrings. It was stuck on that one, so i got to clean it off. I was not happy about that. And this is a brooch. But they're pretty cool. Kind of artsy. We got some enamel ones. There's some real pretty enamel ones right here. These little flowers with the pink stone and rhinestones. Them are really pretty. These are some funky ones. But the best of all is what was in this little box. I didn't even know what I got until I got home and I started looking at this closer. There's shoe clips, vintage shoe clips. See, there's two of them. These are shoe clips. I don't really know what this bunch of beads is. Not sure. It has an enamel bracelet which is really pretty and I think this is an ivory necklace again um, this has got a that little charm's got a name on the back and these are some um, screw back earrings rhinestones that are really pretty and this little sun brooch is handcrafted by Playbird, which I'm going to have to look that up. And then look at these gorgeous shoe clips. And this right here says Mexico on the bottom. And Bobcat, that looks like almost like a Boy Scout thing. This says Tahiti on the back. And then look at these brooches. And 
very cool brooches. And then look at this trumpet brooch. And here's another one. This one has a name on the back. Mar Marvella. I'm excited about that one. Here's some more shoe clips. Rhinestone ones. And this little clown guy is really cool. And here's the tiniest of cannons. Let me flip them over. It's a cannon, little charm. And then this bracelet, they look black to me. I held them up to the light and I can't seem to see through them. So I'm not sure exactly what they are. Look at this, look at this huge marquee ring. If I can get it to focus. It's gorgeous. And it's got a name under it, but I can't read it. I'm going to have to get the uh, magnifying glass out. And then look at this one. It's got a little cherub design in the middle. And this ring is really cool. But the best part of this whole box is I picked this watch up and I thought, oh, that's different and kind of cool. It's stretchy. If I can show you, I can't show you with one hand. But when I looked at the name, I was floored. It's a Gucci. And I paid $34 for this earring lot. And this box was in there. And here's another one. I was getting ready to test this one. Let me lay it down. It, they look like emeralds. It's not labeled. It's not labeled um, gold, so it, they probably aren't. But I'm getting ready to test it. The middle stone. Let me just pick it up. The middle stone is like a yellowed, so it looks like it's been replaced. Focus. So I'm going to go test them, make sure. I hope they're diamonds. That would be nice, but I bet they're not. All right, so that's what I got today when I went to pick all my stuff up from the online auction bidding. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the likes like button and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.